When the bite gets tough, fishing a young tube slow can't be beat. Look at that tank. This thing is so freaking thick. I got in a couple new things at Cabela's today and if you guys are anything like me, you love tackle shopping, you love getting new stuff and you might love watching me get new stuff. So, I got this tackle bag here. Okay, why are you doing that? Video, yes. Okay. I got this tackle bag here. It's got, it's what I bring with kayaking and stand-up paddle boarding. I got one box in here that is jammed full of lures, mostly jigs, chatterbaits, a couple of square bills, a couple uh, rip and wraps, and then a couple bucktail jigs and underspin. And then I got my mostly terminal tackle, which is kind of overkill. Most of the stuff I rarely use. Some of it I want to have with me all the time, but most of it I don't really care about. And then I got this other box here that would fit into there nicely that I could put some other lures in. But I'm not using that because I got this thing in here. So, my idea was to get a new little finesse bag here. I'm going to open this with one hand. Get this little uh, bag basically, like a $12 bag. I'm kind of on a budget a little bit, so. Didn't want to buy a super expensive one, so this thing was only 12 bucks, pretty sweet deal. And take everything out of it. Got a box for inside of there, mega bass box, super freaking pumped about that thing. Oh, I really wish it would have fit in here, but I'm pretty sure it won't. We can double check, but we'll go in there with probably about 10 or so bags of plastics. So I got most of them sitting right here right now. And uh, that'll go in there. This will be for some terminal tackle. So it's a much smaller box than that other one. Um, put some terminal tackle here, probably put a couple wraps here, and then whatever else in there. Or maybe jigs in here and then put wrapless in the other one. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But I'm gonna set it up, get it all figured out, and then I'll kind of show you guys the walkthrough if you care. Nobody probably cares, but we'll see see what happens and then I'll show you right now what I got so I got some four inch magnum flipping let's take these bitches out of here find a place for the camera uh, whatever that's fine okay four inch magnum flipping tubes I'm a big fan of tubes I love yum tubes but I got some Bass Pro Shop ones I like the two-tone colors there kind of a natural color on top with a white Good contrast. Heavy salt, it says. Bass Pro Shops actually make some pretty awesome stuff. And I got a little bit smaller ones, 2.75 inch tubes. So this is really like a finesse option here. Uh, I like that for small mouth too. It's really fat, small tube. Uh, the bite is tough. Downsizing never hurts. Fishing slow. Um, some drop dead hooks here. I really like these. Got a screw lock, uh, the weight on the shank of the hook there. Three out and one eighth ounce. Not real heavy. Slow fall. Um, then I got some Yum Money Craws. I've never tried these yet, but like I said about tubes, I love Yum. Pretty much everything Yum makes is amazing. Yum, if anyone that works at Yum is watching, please sponsor Chris Fish and Fitness. I will pour the shit out of you guys. Um, so this is a craw, young money craw, long body, just a couple like feeler tentacles there and legs. I mean, it definitely resembles a craw, but it, it doesn't resemble a craw so much that it, it, it could resemble anything. It could look like a minnow swimming back and forth or whatever. It's kind of a, like a broad. Not, they're not putting all their effort in looking like a crawfish. It can resemble a craw or a minnow or whatever. Um, I wanted to try these out. Doomsday Tackle Company. I don't know if these are 
getting discontinued or what, but they were looked like extremely on sale. Kind of like a, a mix between a finesse worm and a Senko cigar type bait. So it's pretty good. I'm sure those things will catch fish. Uh, now I'm super excited about these. Popular rigging methods on here. It says Texas rig, shaky head, and drop shot. I really bought these for drop shots. So these are Strike King Super Finesse Worm. Um, five inch, just a little guy, straight tail. Not a whole lot of action, which is what I like for drop shotting. Drop shotting is like a really finesse technique where you want just a very small, slim, natural looking bait not moving very much. I mean, you're not working that drop shot. You're not wiggling it back and forth or anything. You're just kind of dragging it along and letting the the minnow just, or whatever this thing's supposed to resemble, mostly a minnow, but whatever, just swimming really slow and natural. Um, I got a Mille Lacs trip planned this fall. Now we're gonna for sure hit Mille Lacs, and I don't know, we'll probably hit some other lakes too, but I'm really excited to have that drop shot and this drop shot. It's another Strike King drop shot half shell here so let's look at that guy did it just open here did i gotta tear something out i think it just opens if i can figure this out there we go all right so again look at uh, this thing is freaking sweet just a little this one kind of resembles a minnow more little drop shot it's like a blue purple silver Put the drop shot in right there and that thing will just sit and kind of swim a little bit a little bit of action and those fish aren't heavily feeding just something that looks really natural and then uh let's see kevin van damme's strike king square bill this is a craw so let's take it out of the package here it actually has the eyes on the back of it so it's supposed to resemble a craw kind of crawling I'm probably gonna be fishing it mostly in lakes and I'm sure there is some crawfish in there but more for like a large mouth ripping it through the weeds or whatever but square bills are freaking underrated I, I haven't really given them a whole lot of attention my dad loves them I go out fishing with him and he freaking smokes me on square bills sometimes when I'm using other options so got one of those and then some hooks here shaky head uh these are all three eagle claw trocar um haven't really used these that much but i need a little bit more like jig head type of stuff they got an interesting bend on them pro v tungsten here this is basically toothpicks for pike I'm sure like a bit off right away freaking bastards um swim bait hooks i got some owner ones just wanted a couple more because pike biting those bastards off and then scorpion shaky head what is this one eighth ounce i really like the hook keepers on there they look like they're going to keep stuff on there well uh x wrap tail vmc dress treble since i used a couple of them on my troke glider i just had a couple more just in case i want to put them on something else and then this guy just kind of thought why the hell not i probably won't be uh, maybe i'll throw it on my fly rod but I like to just throw it on light spinning gear and maybe put like a small weight or a casting weight on there. Uh, Rainy's Flies, El Chupacabra, red and white, four rot. Thing that sucks about these things is they're light as hell. They're made to be thrown on fly gear. They don't really cast well at all. But if you put like a small bullet weight in front of them or a little split shot or even like a little bobber or something and you can cast it pretty far. And this is another one to just work good and slow these feathers just and tinsel and stuff on here just slowly uh, move around in the water. Really looks like a big easy meal for fish. Uh, probably be putting a leader on it because of those bastard pike. So I'm gonna get this all set up and square it away and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Well, apparently this mega box, mega bass box only comes with two trays here and it's supposed to really only hold i don't know there's so many slots in it what the what the hell maybe you have to order extra it only came with these two and i thought like maybe it's some kind of mix up 
or like I bought it without those, but apparently not. I just looked on Amazon for one and it only comes with those two. Standard. And it's meant for like holding a couple crankbaits, so that's great. I got this old fly box here, kind of. It's not really a fly box, but that's what I have in there. A bunch of flies. I'm gonna get rid of those. And this is now gonna be my hooks and whatever terminal tackle box frequently used. Fits in there. That's kinda nice. Let's figure this out. So I'm getting to figure it out. A lot of stuff is still in here, but this is just not so frequently used stuff. Here is the frequently used stuff. I got shaky heads, underspins, tube hooks, weedless uh, finesse heads, regular finesse heads, just a couple like overflow jig heads and a couple swinging rugby heads, drop shot weights, drop shot hooks, no jig heads I use for moxies, and then I got wacky jig heads coming together gotta run on the one time so let's kick this out everything that's going into the finesse bag right now doomsday tackle muddy bayou five inch roku worm yum money crop strike king finesse worm berkeley no bass pro shops bass pro shops four inch tube bass pro shops two and point seven five inch tube Half shell drop shot, strike king, strike king, game hog, yum tube, chompers tube, zoom z craw, gene larue, whatever this thing is, biffle bug, reaction innovations, kinky beaver, authentic x moxie. Daiwa SV Concept Yamamoto Nico Straight 6.5 inch worm. Get Zit Tubes. Yum Dinger 5 inch. Yum Finesse Worm 6 inch. Kai Tech Easy Shiner. More Moxies. A couple Grubs. Two pack. Use quite a bit of them. More Tubes. More Tubes. More tubes, uh, different striking tubes. Yum, bad mama. Yum, dinger. Another yum finesse worm. Look at that. Packed up nicely. Fits all of them just great. This is my setup right here. My finesse bag. No excuses not to fish finesse. I got myself a couple nice finesse. Spinning reels this year, pleasure to use. Got a nice bag here. Here is my moving baits for when I'm on the stand-up paddleboard or kayak. If I wasn't all set before, I am definitely all set now, you guys. Um, fall fishing is underway next week. It's gonna be highs in like the 50s or 60s. So should be cooling down here. Fish should be stocking up. I'm so pumped to get out and catch a bunch of fish. Hopefully I can show you guys some giant largemouth, smallmouth, walleye, pike, maybe even musky. We'll see. Um, stay tuned to the channel. I think that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm super excited for all that new stuff. I can't wait to get out and try it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. October fire, big bass season right now is upon us. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss this.